Thank you very much. The, the end of the session is approaching, but we have uh, one last presentation from uh, Eduard Gatin from the University of Bucharest in uh, Romania. Hello and uh, good day. I'm working to University of Bucharest and also I have a part-time hours to University of Medicine and Faculty of Dentistry and I, in, I am interested about dental materials and uh, tissue regeneration, especially dentin. Uh, you see, I am concerned here about the quality of the dental enamel and I try to obtain information about the quality of the dental enamel, especially by using Raman method and uh, also using AFM technique. I will do not have too many pictures, not at all, because I invite you to my poster number 20 because about this method is under patent registration, so I must be very careful. So, regarding present times, we need to offer very specialized methods and new methods to indicate and uh, to obtain information about the chemical changes to the calcified tissues, especially to the dental enamel. There are some affections about the dental enamel, like the black spot, when uh, because of the affection, some parts of the dental enamel turn to black, that's why the black spot, or some parts of the dental enamel are subject to discoloration. It was established that uh, development of uh, dental caries uh, can be associated with the loss of the minerals, I mean the changes that occurs to the dental enamel, especially to those two components of the hydroxyapatite. So, uh, one of it is based on fluoride, the other one on carbonate calcium. And the most important one is the carbonate calcium. This is the answer. So, about this investigation, we confirm that is an organic origin about this black spot or black stain and the discoloration spots. So if we try to polish the surface of the enamel, after some time reappears. So it's a process of generation, regeneration from inside. So we must fix the problem inside not just aesthetic. Okay. An application, and this is the most important part of the presentation, is that using uh, the same technique, we can obtain a possible real-time evaluation of dental enamel quality for children to eruption period. So it's very important to know what is the quality of the dental enamel for the children between 7 and 11 years? Because in this period, we can influence the quality of the enamel with an associate treatment from the medical doctor. Because we can uh, use this method then to improve the quality because it's better to do it when they are children instead of having a traumatic interventions when you are 30 or 40. Anyway, maybe it's a problem of money because all medical dentists, they are looking for money, so they are looking for implants. But they can transfer this money from these implants to these prevention methods. So it can be 
more efficient and we save the patient because it's not so traumatic. When we have traumatic cases, it's okay. We cannot, we make implants. So, as I told you, is connected to the nanoparticle and nanomedicine because the dental NML is based on micro and nano structures. So this is the structure. And I told you a patent is uh, pending. So thank you very much and I invite you to talk more to the poster number 20. Thank you very much. This concludes this uh, always very exciting session. Uh, I think we are all part of a novelty at Cleanham at the moment. We finalize a session before scheduled time. <laughs> I think this has never happened at Cleanham. I would like to thank all the speakers once more. Thank you very much. It was very interesting. And uh, use the opportunity for networking now because now you have heard a lot of uh, what the others do.